Spurgeon here with Revzilla, and today we're going to take a look at the line of 2018 Merlin boots available at Revzilla.com. So new for the spring of 2018, Merlin has introduced a few new boots to their lineup, and we're going to break them down in this video. So what you're going to notice is that on the table, all these boots are going to have a very similar theme. Engineer pull-up style, they're all going to have waterproof baked into this. And then when you look at the legacy boots, which are the full height ones in the middle, these are going to also have Outlast thermal warming with this as well. So this is going to be more of a cold weather option, while the two on the side are going to be more of that three to four season option. Now, prices are going to range between $200 to $250, and what you're going to see here is full leather construction throughout. So we're going to start with the chargers on my right-hand side, and then we're going to work our way through the table. So first up with the charger, this is a boot for men. Sizes will range from 41 to 46, and this is what we're seeing throughout the men's line. The one nitpick I would love to see here is if they would have a wider range of sizes. Get down to the 38s, 39s, get up to 47s, 48s. Um, the, the size range is just a little bit on the narrow side. But the fitment is true to size, so as long as you're using their size chart, you should have no surprises there. You will notice that you do have the, uh, the buckle on the outside. But what you're not going to notice is that it's not going to carry symmetrically on the inside. So it's not like that favorite pair of fries that you might have laying around um, because there is going to be a zip entry to this. And that's going to be that high pore waterproof liner that you're going to see on the inside. So it is going to be a full height waterproof liner. So as long as your waterproof pants are covering where the top of the boot ends, you should be completely covered there. 2.4 millimeter top grain leather. So there is going to be that full leather construction and you are going to have symmetry coming into play as far as the shift panels are concerned. Now, when we're taking a look at the women's boot compared to the Charger, this is going to be the EVA. The EVA women's boot carries all the same features that we're seeing with the Charger, the 2.4 full grain leather. You're going to have that same high pore waterproof liner. When we take a look at the inside, it's going to be that same zip entry on the medial side of the boot. The main change you're going to see here is a slight style change. So where the men's boot used that solid leather all the way around, you are going to have this quilting effect on the back of the women's boot. And for both boots, black is the only color available for this. Now, sizes will range from 37 to 40. So my same complaint sticks with the women's boot as well. This is even a narrower size range for this. So I would love to see Merlin expand their size range as they begin to produce these boots. Now, for both of these, it's about a 3 out of 10 on our scale of stiffness for the sole. So this is going to be something that's going to be super comfortable for you to walk around on. You're still getting protection at the toe and at the heel on this. So you're going to notice that when you put these on, there will be reinforcements at both ends of the boots. But because of the comfort level of the sole, this is going to be something you can easily walk around in all day. And that's not going to change throughout the entire line. You know, even when we get up to the top of the line, the premium for the Legacy, you know, it's still that really easy to walk around in 3 out of 10 for rigidity, but it is still going to be a pretty beefy sole. And you can see the grip pattern on these will really allow you to kind of get in there if you're in a slippery situation and get maximum grip out of the boots. You're looking at about an inch and a half lift as well. So if you're looking for something to give you a little bit of a lift for your boot, you're looking at about an inch to an inch and a half depending on the boot. So you do get a little bit of a rise there. Now we're getting into the construction of the Legacy. It's still around 2.4 mil grade cow leather, but now it's going to be a crazy, it's going to be a crazy horse cow leather. So it's a different type of leather, a little bit soft, a little bit supple. You know, it's going to break in really nicely, give you that kind of worn in look. And you're also changing the waterproof membrane on this. So where we have a high pore waterproof membrane on the other two, this is going to be a Sympatex liner. And you know, we've seen this from brands like CD in the past. Really what you're getting with this is a little bit more breathability than what you'd get with a high pore waterproof liner. So this is going to give you a little bit more of that breathability, but you are going to also have Outlast in this boot. So Outlast is a temperature regulating uh, liner that will help to keep you warm. It absorbs your heat, you know, and then it kind of releases it back to you. So this is going to be a boot that you're not going to want to wear into the warmer months of the year. Think, you know, late fall, all winter long, and then into the spring to give you that extra level of warmth, as well as a really classically styled boot. Now the only thing you'll notice here compared to the other ones is that you got two different colors. So this is going to be available in a distressed kind of a worn in brown and then kind of a distressed worn in black. And a lot of that really has to come in with the, uh, with the type of leather being used. So you're going to see more of a gloss finish on the other two. This has almost a suede hand to it and it also looks like it's already been just worn in a little bit. It'll break in a little bit easier for you. So you know that if you like that kind of distressed vintage look to your boot, the Legacy is definitely one to consider. And you can see if I put these side by side, the Legacy adds about three inches 
over the, uh, the charger boot. So you will notice there is going to be a distinct height difference there as well. So regardless of which one you're looking at, these are all going to be a nice quality solid leather boot. Again, coming in between the $200 to $250 price point. So for those of you out there that are looking to update your boot game, but you don't want to spend a ton of money, these are going to be excellent options moving into the 2018 riding season. Now, there's a lot of folks out there utilizing Merlin gear. We've really seen them take off for us here at Revzilla. Really quality stuff across their line. And if you want to hear more about what other riders have to say, you can click the info button on your desktop or mobile device, which will allow you to read other rider reviews from folks that are already putting Merlin gear through its paces. If you have any questions for one of our gear geeks as to which pair of riding boots is right for you and your style, give them a shout, 877-792-9455, or simply shoot over an email to cs at revzilla.com. Thank you for joining us for this look at the Merlin boots for the spring of 2018. I'm Spurge. Enjoy the ride.